Hey guys, it's Mr. EJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to untether your iPod Touch 4, your iPhone 4, or 3GS that was already jailbroken, tethered on 5.1.1. So let's go ahead and get on into this video. <laughs> So right here you can see that we have Rocky Raccoon 5.1.1 untethered and this is in fact my iPod Touch 4G which is running 5.1.1. So what this will allow you to do is go ahead and uh, automatically untether your device. So right now if I turn off this iPod Touch it will actually go ahead and uh, like not allow me to do anything. Uh, so I'll have to use the computer to boot tethered. So uh, this is definitely really great and uh, if you're not already jailbroken uh, click the link down below there will be a link to a tutorial video. If if you're not already jailbroken, but this is really nice and convenient if you are already on 5.1.1, which we are and we are already jailbroken. So if you don't have any of these things, please click the link below. If you're confused, please click the link below. But anyways, you're going to want to go ahead go over to the search and just search Rocky Raccoon uh, 5.1.1 on Tether. You should be good with Rocky Raccoon. But anyways, you just click there and make sure you fully refresh your Cydia so that this appears in the uh, your Cydia. So then you're just going to click install. And uh, guess what we're going to do next? We're going to click Confirm. So what this basically does is it installs the untethered uh, packages. And then I'm pretty sure it's going to require reboot. So let's go ahead and try that. So here we have the iPod Touch uh, back on. You can of course tell this is 5.1 because we have this camera thing down there. I'm going to slide to unlock and then uh, we actually do have a white icon there. That is fixed with a Cydia package. Um, but we can go ahead and open up Cydia so that you can tell that this is untethered. This is an iPod Touch 4G and we are in fact on 5.1.1. So in case you are really confused right now and you're saying what the heck I don't even have Cydia icon on my iPhone or iPod or iPad. Just click the link down below. It will uh, clear up a lot of confusions and it will help you. Uh, do this easily on your Windows or Mac. Uh, the one thing I will uh, want to remind you is make sure you have all these SHSH files uh, uh, stored on both your computer and on the Cydia server. So that way you can always roll back to this jailbroken state because uh, that's definitely very very important because uh, a lot of times uh, the new updates come out and people uh, click the uh, update in the settings which uh, actually causes a lot of issues with jailbreaks and sometimes the update uh, fails if you're jailbroken. So definitely keep that in mind uh, but I hope this video helped and as always rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.